Virgo, welcome to your energy reading. This is a timeless one. So whenever you're watching this, it is the right time for you. And I hope that it gives you some nuggets of wisdom and advice that you can utilize and whatever you're going through. I hope that all works out for you, Virgo. So we're going to start by picking <clears throat> an angel card for you, Virgo. And we have here Ariel. New psychic and spiritual experiences are charging the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. I like this. Okay, I like this for you, Virgo. You're really, um, you know, up-leveling yourself, perhaps growing in different ways, and things are opening up for you. So for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Shamla Khan, and I'm a spiritual teacher and intuitive therapist. I do use the cards sometimes in my therapy work, and of course, I offer tarot readings. If you want a personalized session, uh, do book a session, and that's then done via Zoom. So uh, details are below this video on how to book. And um, of course, this is a general reading. Take what resonates and drop the rest. You have very good cards coming up so far. I like this. But go. Oy, it's just too much. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Wow. You are definitely uh, on a journey of up-leveling spiritually. Definitely. It's part of whatever you're doing. It's part of your spiritual uh, part of your spiritual, I would say, purpose, maybe. That's the word to use, spiritual purpose. Okay? So we have Ace of Cups. So um, you are really opening yourself up, right? It's the same as this, you know, this, say, new spiritual experiences, right? Uh, for some of you, it may not be a psychic experience, but I think for most of you, it would be spiritual experiences where you are really transitioning into a time where you are living your purpose. And I like this. Right, I mean, you're seeing the world very differently. And with Ace of Cups, what it means is you're really opening. You're opening yourself up spiritually. You're opening yourself up even emotionally. If you look at this card, look at this overflowing energy. And, you know, we have the Lotus Pond. We have the Duff flying in. So this is really spiritual awakening as well. Right? So it's really nice energy here. Now, spiritual awakening, you know, I... Um, a lot of people tend to think spiritual awakening as like, you know, woo-woo and, you know, like the, the the angels, you know, start making an appearance and then you become so um, psychic. And it's not necessarily that, you know, Virgo, especially for you, Virgo, um, spirit, spirituality is a lot of it is a grounded spirituality. How are you bringing the spiritual wisdom into your grounded reality? And, and then how are you manifesting that? And I feel like, uh, because, you know, Virgo is a, is an earthy sign, right? For you, uh, living a life purpose, it's a very, uh, it, none of those airy-fairy stuff. It's a, it's a lot of uh, very groundedness, you know. It's like service work. It's about delivering and, and, you know, really being on the ground kind of thing. And it shows us here, Eight of Pentacles, you are on a journey of working very hard and, you know, there's a lot of hard work that you put in um, and it's all going to work out really well because you have the high priestess guiding you as well. The high priestess is an energy that is connected to your intuition, connected to your higher self, connected to sacred knowledge even. So if you're studying some um, spiritual books or taking up some sacred knowledge or going deeper into your religion or spirituality in general, the trick here is to integrate those information, those knowledge into earth, earthly way of living. And that way, for you, Virgo, you can truly bring the true essence of spirituality into the earthly world. And that's how you fully manifest your spiritual purpose on the planet. All right. That's how it works for you, Virgo. And then we have the nine of wands. Nine of Wands is being guarded, being resilient. So I would say very important to protect your space. Um, to have clear boundaries as well, because as you enter into the space of being very open, what will happen is a lot of people will want to jump in 
and I mean, not a conscious way, obviously. They're attracted to the energy, right? And so they may want to just come in. They want to participate in whatever you're doing, but they, they may not be a right fit. So you have to be um, very conscious of that, that not everyone who wants to join you uh, should be allowed to join because it all depends on whether there's some resonance or not or, and whether the they they are in alignment with your personal philosophy and whether you feel that there is resonance, okay? So that's very important. All right, so let's pick some clarifiers and more information. Can we have a clarifier for Ace of Cups for Virgo? Okay, Ace of Cups, and this is Ten of Cups. So this is about you, you know, being open. You are building a base. You're building. You're building stability. Um, you're building definitely emotional stability. And I feel this is about making a connection, the divine love with yourself, your higher self, coming into alignment. You're feeling very supported by the universe, and you, you know you're definitely improving on your relationship with yourself it's a much more it's a deep deep love you know in your relationship with yourself and that's important right that's important to have our relationship with self is the most important relationship and so we should you know be open and cultivating space and time for that yeah so there's excitement in the change happening. It's very fast changes. You'll be experiencing this. The connection with higher self, you know, very fast changes. Excitement. Um, so if there are things that require you to take immediate action, you do so and allow, give it space. Give space for change to take place. Okay. So can we have more info for Eight of Pentacles? This Eight of Pentacles. Oh, clarified by Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, your hard work is going to pay off. Uh, Nine of Pentacles is telling us that you are going to have success. You're going to be rewarded. Um, you are, and you know, the hard work also gives you a sense of, of uh, self-worth. You're going to feel like you're going to achieve something. It's a very, very powerful progress. From hard work, something comes out from it. Oh, wait, hang on. Okay, Sorry. I moved it accidentally. Okay. So from hard work, you're going to have success. You're going to see the success. You're going to, it's a long-term thing. And the rewards are good. A sense of satisfaction, completely in alignment with, you know, what you feel is good for your higher self. Now, there is also a difficult decision you may be, you may need to make as you are going through this hard work enjoying the success so this difficult decision is about i mean i would say not to rush into making this decision um it is an inner conflict that you may be feeling and maybe you don't have all the information yet so don't make a rash decision whatever it is wait for it wait it out okay let's see can we have more info about the two of sorts, about this difficult decision? And, you know, if you wait it out, yeah. So you wait it out and wait for the tower moment to happen. It is okay. Tower moments are good because sometimes um, when it comes to certain decisions, sometimes it's better that you allow the situation to play itself out rather than you being the one to make that decision because... When the universe is assisting you, the universe will, you know, conspire and make things happen, right? And you allow it to take place. And then you are observing, allowing things to come into play. Your high priestess, right? Your higher knowledge, your whatever spiritual information that you have, this is going to be a very strong force that is going to assist you through the Tower moment. Um, it's not a bad thing, you know? I mean, it's about shifting of foundations uh things changing and let it let it change because the change is actually good for you it's completely in alignment with this openness the ace of cups you know about new spiritual growth okay i feel it's good it's a positive i feel that with the tower moment comes very very positive outcomes Whoa, did you see that? It flew. So can we have clarifier 
for the high priestess and we have five of cups okay so your uh higher guidance is going to guide you through moments where you may be feeling a little bit uh okay with how moments sometimes you can feel we can experience a a, a short period of um like emptiness or you you don't know what your direction is you're feeling disappointed maybe uh for some of you uh or feeling unloved you know but lean into the high priestess right a high priestess is simply telling you that there will be moments in life where you will experience the five of cups um where you're feeling alone you're feeling a sense of loss you know but yeah going through grief even three of sorts telling us feeling sense of loss emotional pain but the high priestess is there. The high priestess is there to guide you. So you will not be lost for long. Maybe you spend, you know, a short period of time. And it's so necessary to experience the pain because the pain is what helps us to grow. You know, the pain helps us to build stamina, emotional resilience. So we cannot avoid and we shouldn't stuff it aside. Now, if we stuff it aside, what is going to happen is uh, it's going to be you know, become a disease within the physical body as well. So you don't want to push it in, you know, feel it, feel it, and then it will go. And high priestess is there to guide you. So this is not about stopping yourself from feeling it. It's about reminding yourself that it is okay to feel it, right? Feel it. And then so that you can grow, you can move on. Now, we have nine of wands. Can we have clarifier for nine of wands? What is it that you need to be resilient against? Ah, okay. Well, okay. Um, interesting. Can we have one more? Nine of wands. Ah, two nine of wands. <laughs> okay. So this is about nine of wands clarifying for nine of wands okay so i know where this is going now so what is saying that you need to persevere you need to have the resilience whenever whatever it is that you are you know entering into right um have your clear boundaries and it's almost like you have the final push into something that you want to create something you want to do or decision that you're making or change that's coming it's like a final push the nine of wands is saying that um keep your boundaries up you know, and because it is the final push, you really do need to keep your boundaries very clear. Um, it's very close to success. And then with that, when you when you get to that point is when you surrender. Hangman is about surrendering. When you surrender, you allow it to come into play. And then you have, you, uh, you gain a lot of wisdom. Um, you are going to see the situation very differently. You have a new perspective. And it's all good. It's all very good. Very positive. Okay. We have one more. Yeah, definitely. Ace of Wands. Newness, inspiration, reignited passion, new initiative, creative spark, a lot of energy, right? With this newness, all this wonderful energy starts coming in. I like this. I like this reading. Uh, even though it says that, you know, there may be a little bit of hiccup, but you'll be fine. That hiccup is actually fuel for bigger growth. Okay, it's fuel for bigger growth. So Virgo, this is really good. Let's see, can we have, can we have some message from Spirit for Virgo? We'll put one or two and see what comes up. Okay, Virgo. Now, Virgo, if this message resonates, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, comment below, let me know how you're doing. I appreciate this energy exchange with you. And um, let's see. I find a deeper meaning and personal growth amid the discomfort. Oh my God. This completely, completely summarizes the entire reading. I find a deeper meaning and personal growth amid the discomfort. Let's pick one more. Here we have, when I'm in alignment with the love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. Isn't this true? Very good reading here for you, Virgo. I like this. Okay. So I wish you the best. Stay in alignment. You're good. You're very good. 
God bless.